Welcome. This video will show you how easy it is to set up your official MyMedicare.gov account. With your account, you will be able to view your Medicare claims as soon as they're processed, see a calendar of current and upcoming preventive services you may be eligible for, and keep track of your prescription drugs and more. We'll now walk you through the simple steps screen by screen. To begin, type MyMedicare.gov into your browser address bar and you will see this screen. You can also access this page from the link at the top right hand corner of the Medicare.gov homepage. Next, click on Create Account in the box located at the bottom of the screen. You will now see this screen where you will need to enter your personal data. Enter your Medicare number with no spaces or dashes, then your last name and suffix, if any, exactly as shown on your Medicare card. Next, you may enter an email address if you have one. You will need to re-enter it to confirm. An email address is optional, but be sure to check the box below if you are not entering an email address. Then, using the drop-down menu, enter your date of birth. Next, enter your five-digit zip code. Now, enter your Part A coverage start date as shown on your Medicare card. If you only have Part B, click on the link that says Don't have Part A, and it will allow you to enter your Part B coverage date. Finally, be sure to check the two boxes at the bottom of the page before proceeding to certify that the information you've entered is true and complete to the best of your knowledge and that you agree to the rules and regulations for using the site. When you are finished entering all the required information, click Next. After clicking Next, a security notice will appear on the same page. You must click OK to continue with the registration process. After clicking OK, you will see this screen. This is the final step in setting up your account you will need to create a username and password. Create and enter a username following these guidelines. It must be 8 to 30 characters long with no spaces. It can include letters, numbers, and the following special characters, the at sign, an exclamation point, a period, a hyphen, an underline, or a dollar sign. Don't use a special character as the first or last character of your username. It must include at least four letters. Your email address can be used, and it cannot contain your Medicare number or Social Security number. Now create and enter a password following these guidelines. It must be 8 to 16 characters long. It must contain at least one letter and one number and it must also contain one or more of the following special characters the at sign, an exclamation point, a dollar sign, percentage sign, quotation marks, an asterisk, or open or closed parentheses. It cannot contain your username and it cannot contain your Medicare number or Social Security number. You will then need to re-enter your password to confirm. On the same page, below the password, you will need to provide information to reset your username or password if you happen to forget it in the future. Select one of the following secret questions and enter your answer. What is your favorite vacation spot? In what city did you first meet your spouse? What country would you most like to visit? What is the title of your favorite book? What is the name of the first street you lived on? What was the name of your first pet? What is your best friend's last name? After you've entered your answer, click Submit. After clicking Submit, the following message will be on the next screen. You're all set. You can now log in and start using your account. You'll also get a confirmation letter in the mail within 10 to 14 days to the address listed in your account. Congratulations, you are now a MyMedicare.gov user. For additional information, contact SHINE, the Massachusetts SHIP, at 
800-AGE-INFO.